I wanna show you exactly the verbiage that we use on our websites because this makes people buy. Hey everyone, this is Big Papa Log Dog. Hey everyone, this is Logan Schinholster with Contractor Growth Network and I wanna walk you through the verbiage that we use on website. People buy because of emotion and they back it up with logic. However, most of us think that logic is what sells but it doesn't. And when we go on our websites and we build websites and the things that we talk about on our websites, they're all logic based, meaning we talk about specific features or specifications, or we just talk about the product as a whole, but that is all logic. And if all we're doing is talking about logic on our websites when we're trying to sell, who's gonna buy from us? F math nerds and that's it. So we need to talk about the emotion that comes into your work. So I'm gonna walk through one of the websites that we're in the final stages of building right now about the emotion that we use and why we use it. I want to break down why we do things in a certain manner and why straight up our websites are the best out there for the contracting industry. Kitchen remodeling at the very beginning of the page, we say, say goodbye to your uh, grandma's 1920s kitchen. Say hello to the kitchen of now. The reason that people get their kitchen and bathroom and homes remodeled is because it's outdated. So immediately what we do is we hit them with a, who wants their grandma's kitchen? Nobody does. We want their cooking but not their kitchen because it's old school. So what we're doing is we're putting a visual in their head to say, if you have a kitchen that looks like your grandma's kitchen, you're wrong. And people immediately see that visual in their head. If we let off with, hey, our kitchens are great because we like to put on white cabinets, everybody does that stuff. But we're putting a visual in their head about grandma. That's the very first thing that we lead off with. So people already understand that if they have an old kitchen, they want to get that bad boy removed. Tired of doing the kitchen dance, keep reading. Think about it, if I say to you, the kitchen dance, what do you think of? You think of a small kitchen where you're trying to like maneuver around people because it's too cramped. So instead of me saying, hey, is your kitchen way too small and way too cramped? I just say, tired of doing the kitchen dance? And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Kind of like if I said, hey, do you have a pain in the butt customer that just won't ever seem to go away? You're gonna kind of think, yeah, maybe. But if I say, hey, as a painting contractor, have you ever had the, the customer that when you finish a job, calls you back because they put a flashlight on the wall to show you the issues, you know exactly who I'm talking about. The visuals here bring up a lot. So the kitchen dance brings up the emotion of having to cram around everybody else in the kitchen. Let's go ahead and break down the first part. Out with the old, in with the new. With the social media boom, trends change faster than ever. We're able to see the newest, latest, and greatest style as far as our fingertips can type it as fast as our fingertips can type it. Clearly not as good as I can read it. We find the dreamy kitchen we want with the teardrop lighting and gold finishes and it feels so out of reach, but it's not. You can have it too, all you have to do is ask. Let's think about that idea. So right now what we're doing is we're referring to being on social media because we know people buy kitchens by going on Pinterest, going on Instagram, going and watching HGTV and they see it and they think, man, if only I could get that kitchen right? Like maybe one day, but what we're trying to do here is we're trying to say, look, it feels out of reach, right? We didn't say it is out of reach. We said it feels out of reach. So they feel it. And then as soon as we say that, we immediately switch it up and go, actually, it's not. So now what they're doing is they're associating what they just saw on Instagram or on Pinterest as a reality in their head, putting the visual in their head and the emotion of it's not out of reach. You're not frustrated. It's actually attainable. Moving down the page, how it works, remodel your kitchen in three easy steps. Boom, number one, meet and consultation. The first step is to have an initial consultation so that we can learn all about your project. We'll provide you a quote to get started. That's all we're trying to do is trying to get this off the ground and let people know it's super easy. It's not to break down the exact steps of the process, but just to let people know, hey, when you work with us, we've got you covered. It's gonna be simple. It's gonna be straightforward. You're gonna love working with us. Part two, design and create. You'll spend time with Alicia, the heart of Hammer and Heart, to design variations of your space. Together, you'll finalize layouts, colors, and more. Right. So now, what we're saying is, we're going to hold your hand during the process. A lot of contractors talk about how you should hire us for way more money because we give the best experience and we do quality work. But what you deem as quality work, the customer deems as the standard. When you say we use good materials, the customer assumes you use good materials. By this, what we're saying is we're gonna hold your hand during the process. That's what the customer actually is okay with paying more money for. Don't mistake the value that you think you are with the value that the customer should assume they should pay for. Because what they see as value may be something that you don't even provide. So if they're gonna spend twice as much money on a kitchen renovation, they probably expect you to walk step by step with them. And if that's not what you're doing, 
then they're not gonna pay you double the amount. But we're trying to let them know in this case, hey, you're gonna pay more money, but we're gonna hook you up with Alicia. Build in love. Ian, the hammer of Hammer and Heart. See how we're doing that? And speaking of hammer, make sure you hammer down that like button right now. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So does Ian and Alicia. Trust me, they will. And his team will get to work building your space. Get ready to fall in love with your home all over again. So now what we're doing is we're putting a personal feel on it. Ian and Alicia, the owners of Hammer and Heart, are gonna come in as a family-run company and help you out. So it's kind of a, you know, first you work with her, then you work with him, but you're all covered. If you wanna see more about the whole design and build process, click the button. We won't get into that. We're gonna stay on this one page. Yes, you can have more room in your kitchen. Up in their area, one of the biggest problems is they have old kitchens. Kitchens that were built, or homes that were built in the 20s and I believe uh, 80s. Both of which, the style back then, in the 20s, I think everybody was like five foot three, 100 pounds, so they had very small rooms. And in the 80s, I think everybody was on Coke or something. Again, very small people, very skinny. So all the rooms are very isolated, especially uh, kitchen-wise. So what they want to do is they want to let you know the reason that people are, are hiring us is to expand their kitchen. So when we say, yes, you can have more room in your kitchen, we're letting them know it is possible. But we do it in a very nonchalant way. By saying, yes, you can have more, it's a casual conversation versus a very rigid, old school 1980s remodeler. You ran out of cooking and cabinet space way too long ago. You've tripped over your kids while making dinner more than you like to admit. Back with the kitchen dance idea, remember that? We get it, dot, dot, dot. We're all too familiar with homeowners that feel too cramped in their kitchen. Kitchens of the 1920s and 1980s weren't meant for entertaining, but they can be rebuilt for the now. Open up your kitchen to fit the modern lifestyle you want. So what we're doing is we're putting a visual and a problem together. You know, hey, it's an issue, you're, you're being cramped with your kids, you can't cook in the same space, but don't worry, we got you covered. We just bridged that gap using these four sentences to say, we know where you're at, don't worry, we have a solution for you, so you can fit the modern lifestyle you want. Again, it's a visual, it's an emotion behind it all. And the best part is, with this kitchen, what's crazy, I didn't even realize that she does this when Melissa puts these pictures in there. She makes it so that this kitchen, when you're looking at it, it looks inviting. Because we're talking about the open space, she frames it in a certain way that if you were to walk directly into this image right here, you could actually walk into the kitchen. All right, coming on down. The finer touches are in the finer details. And here's what's ironic is a lot of people will say stuff like that, like, oh, hire the, you know, we're the best remodeling company because we put on the fine details, but their website doesn't show it. Everything has to flow. If you're gonna talk about in our work, we're gonna be very fine detailed, the, the details, the devils in the details or whatever it is, then you gotta have a website that's set up with the exact same thing. Final touches are in the finer details. The details make the difference between a good kitchen and a great kitchen. And the details are only as good as the designer behind them. As a younger, modern, Remodeling company, we have a fresh take on design. We live and breathe the latest trends and styles. Trust me, by working with them, they do, and then you can see it in their work. Whether you want a vintage or contemporary look, or want to go a little wild and mixed styles, we'll bring it to life down to the finest details. All right, that's what we have here, is you want to go into the details. Funny enough, we got to add a period to the end of it, so I know some of you haters are going to call us out on that one. But don't worry, we'll put it in there. Maybe even exclamation for you. We're trying to go with the emotion, we're trying to make them sh see we're trying to show how they're unique everybody can say that we're in the finer details but what we're doing is we're talking about as a younger modern remodeling company we're calling out here's who we're a good fit for be inspired again we're trying to show them what we're going for here all right put on over uh what our clients say you want stuff that's going to back up what we're talking about you want client testimonials that are going to back up exactly what we're trying to get across in this with the emotion you know we're talking about we're we're happy and things like that uh, incredibly neat and cleaned up at the end of every day. Think about that. As a remodeler, if you don't clean up at the end of every day, everybody just hates you throughout the process. Make sure that you are pointing out the real reasons why people want to hire you. When you walk into your home, think about how you want to feel. Get ready to love every inch of it. Let's chat about my kitchen remodel. So that's what we're really trying to go for here is the emotional side of things using a lot of visuals and a lot of pulling at the heartstrings here. Make sure when you're doing it, you're using the emotion, you're really thinking of why the people are buying from you. And when people call me up, contractors call me up and they say, oh, like, why does your website cost way more? I'll literally walk them through and I'll go, look, why did somebody buy from you? Well, it's because of this, this, and this. I'm like, okay, great, that, that's good, but we wanna dig deeper. Why is that an issue? You know, why is, is having small space in the kitchen an issue? Well, they can't hang out with their family. Okay, well, why is that a big deal? Well, you know, their kids are about to graduate and they're about to go to college. 
and they want to spend the last quality, you know, last year of quality time together. I'm like, okay, so if the real reason that people are calling you up for their kitchen remodel is because they need to spend more quality time with their kids before they leave the house forever, where on your website does it show it right now? And they'll go, oh, it doesn't. And I go, great. Would it make sense to have it on your website? That's really the reason that people want to buy from you. If your website doesn't have this level of emotion on it or this level of visuals on it, making people really think about what's going on, it's not really going to do much to stand out or to sell because people will remember your stuff if it brings out an emotion in them because people will remember emotion, not logic. Thank you very much.